So today we have some extremely massive, crazy, big, huge news to go through. As I feel like Greenville might have just posted one of their biggest sort of teasers for an update yet. And I could easily be over exaggerating this. But I mean, this is something that people have wanted for so long now. Literally ever since the revamp dropped. Now before we get into today's video though, I would actually like to say that Greenville did have a little update. I decided not to make a separate video on it because it is so small. But they are actually doing their Memorial Day sale. So if you don't have all the game passes yet, you can actually get 15% off everything. And it ends on the 30th of May. So yeah, for those guys who don't own every game pass yet, it's definitely one to look out for. And yeah, anyways, for those guys who haven't already, make sure to leave like and subscribe as we are on the road to 19.5k subscribers, so it would be greatly appreciated. And also for those guys who would like to join my Discord server, that is in the description below to stay up to date with all of Greenville and Southwest Florida's update information. But anyways, let's get straight into the video. So recently, Hunter actually posted something in the Greenville Discord server in the Future Updates channel that was definitely extremely unexpected. So heading over to it right here, as you guys can see in the Future Updates channel, there is actually a new image posted by Hunter here, which seems to be a new part of the map. Now, this might look pretty insignificant at first, however, there's a few details that we have to note down here. So first of all, as you guys can see, there is a lot of vegetation around the map, such as a lot of trees and bushes and whatnot, which is something that we haven't really seen that much of since GB3. Additionally, it looks like we have a super long river running down here. Furthermore, one that's actually super cool and it's one that we currently don't have is an actual elevated road. And as you guys can see, it looks like it actually goes up a hill here, which is so cool. And I feel like instead of Greenville adding like a huge highway or whatever that has elevated roads, this is definitely the more realistic approach, you know, with a hill instead. Either way, it's still super cool in my opinion, as we don't have any of the stuff right now. Looking further back in the image as well, it does look like we have some other stuff here as well that isn't actually visible in the frame. And I have no doubt in my mind that we will be receiving more stuff than this even. And that this is probably only the start of the teasers for the new map updates that we are going to be getting before the update. Because yes, this is expected to come in the next Greenville update. Now, some of you guys may disagree with my take on this. However, I do feel like that this is probably like sort of the early stages of the revamped map that we're going to get. And you know, as of the past year or two, the Greenville devs have definitely been hinting at a map revamp more and more. And it looks like now they are finally getting into the stages of doing that because I mean around two or so years ago when they initially sort of teased at least like a mini map revamp in a sense I feel like they never actually fully completed what their goal actually was and instead they only really ended up making small adjustments to it such as this right here by the intersection for example where you know there's a little dip right here and like a little tunnel and stuff like that but you know to be completely honest it wasn't anything huge and although yeah it definitely brought some more life to the map it wasn't anything you know noteworthy per se but you know this new teaser right here definitely looks like it has a lot more potential than anything else we've gotten so far and you know, obviously the way how Greenville's current map is has kind of gotten a bit outdated for sure. And you know, especially with games like Southwest Florida who are now fully revamping their maps, it's definitely something that Greenville is going to be trying to get on top of. The only major issue with this is that it could mean that Greenville's update times will reduce, which obviously not a lot of people are going to be fans of. So I'm really hoping that they do manage their time well. So then they are still able to update frequently while working on map development in the background. Because I have no doubt that that is definitely what's made this update take quite a lot longer than usual, I'd say. All in all though, it is some amazing news. Hopefully this means that we will also see the return of a campsite in the game and possibly even hopefully an off-roading track as well, which would be sick. So it's all very good news. There isn't really anything major to complain about. In fact, there literally isn't anything to complain about. And hopefully this is the start of, you know, a change to Greenville's map finally. And if it's not like a full change to the map, obviously, then hopefully it'll just bring more life to the map since currently it does honestly seem pretty dead. And hopefully it brings it up to date a bit as well. Anyways, so thank you guys so much for watching today's video. If you guys enjoyed it, make sure you like and subscribe as we are on the road to 19.5k subscribers. So it would be greatly appreciated as always. And for those guys who would like to join my Discord server, that is in the description below. For those guys who want to stay up to date with all my future content and all of Greenville's update information. But anyways, thank you guys so much for watching today's video, and I'll see you guys in the next one.